Good morning, church family. You know, for the past couple of months, I have been poked, pricked, and prodded. I've had a colonoscopy, an endoscopy, I've had a PET scan, and a CAT scan. I've been exposed to radiation, contamination, and detoxification. (laughs) I've been investigated, uh, desecrated, and in some ways, uh, violated. Uh, The good news is that there isn't a whole lot about me that the doctors don't know fully well. And that's a good thing, because then they can help fix what has been broken. One of the attributes of God is his omniscience. God's omniscience is defined as the fact that God knows everything, which means that he never comes to know anything, and he's never surprised about anything. In fact, God knows us better than we know ourselves. And there is not one single action, word, thought, or even motive that God is not acutely aware of. Psalm 139.14 says this, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it full well. Uh, Psalm 139.3 says, You scrutinize my path and my lying down, and are intimately acquainted with all my ways. The application of God's omniscience is revealed in His grace, in that He knows us completely, and yet He he still desires to save us and protect us in spite of our evil ways. He knows us, and yet He still loves us. That powerful realization is what prompted David to write these words in Psalm 139, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there be any hurtful way in me and then lead me in the way everlasting. We worship a great and mighty God worthy of our praise, all of our praise. And as we continue this morning to worship the Lord, let's worship him for who he is and for what he has so marvelously done.